Welcome everyone back to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine and today I'm going to show you how to make a hamburger gravy full of flavor, very delicious. And you can put this gravy over mashed potatoes, you can put it over rice, you can put it over your cooked pasta. It is so delicious either way. Today I'm going to show you how to make this recipe and also homemade mashed potatoes to go with it and it's so simple. Okay, if you're ready, I know I am, it is a very comforting meal for a very rainy cold day today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, who doesn't like homemade mashed potatoes and they're so easy to make. You're just going to take the amount of potatoes that you want. Now we're a family of four, so I'll probably do about six or seven potatoes. And these are just medium sized russets and they're just the brown potato right here. You can use any potato you want to make your mashed potatoes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna slice these potatoes and then kind of cut them into shoestrings. and then we're just going to cut them into dices. This will help cook them faster. I've seen people where they've peeled the potato and put the whole potato in water and cook it that way, but I'm like, how long does that take? I have no idea because I won't even try that. Once you get them all chopped up like that, you're just going to take them. I'm going to put them in a colander here. That way, when I get them all peeled and chopped up, I can rinse these under some water. I call this our fast Sunday meal. It's fast to put together. It's really easy to put together. And it's amazing that you don't even have to do potatoes with this. If you want, you can put this with pasta rice, any other kind of starch. Okay, so let me know down below if you want to make homemade mashed potatoes, pasta, or rice to put your hamburger gravy over. Okay, we're going to go ahead now. I'm going to rinse these under some water and then I'm going to get my pot of salted water ready for our potatoes. Okay, when you're rinsing off your potatoes and you do it in a strainer here, I just keep running the water and mix them around until the water runs clear on the bottom. That way it gets all the dirt off the potatoes that we kind of cut into them when we were peeling them. All right, so I've got a big pot of water here and not too much water because we just want about two inches above the potatoes with water. Okay, you always want to start off with cold water before you make your mashed potatoes, before you reboil them. I'm just going to add about a couple of teaspoons of salt, give it some flavor to the water. We're going to put it on a high heat, back on the back, back there. We're going to bring this to a boil and then we're just going to let them simmer until they're nice and tender, fork tender. Okay, I'm going to show you everything that we're going to need for this recipe. Now, I just pulled it out of my pantry and some ground beef for my refrigerator or your freezer, you know, just unthought. Now, what you're going to need, two pounds of ground beef. We've got four cups of some beef broth here, one onion, got some garlic. Now, if you want to do garlic powder, if you want to do minced garlic, whatever works for you. Okay, we've got some Italian seasoning here, some Worcestershire, salt, some pepper, flour, and then we've got some butter here. Now, there were some questions on the butter. Y'all were saying that this looked like half a stick of butter. So it does look like half a stick of butter, but it's wider. This is a Costco butter, and this came from Walmart. So it's a skinnier stick and this is a wider stick. So, but it's the same amount. So I had a lot of questions on that on one of my videos. And so I just kind of wanted to, if you see this video, let you know what the difference was right there. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put this all together and make a delicious 
hamburger gravy. It's gonna knock your socks off. Okay, to start our gravy, I've got a large skillet or you can even use a large pot. We're gonna put it on medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead now and add my ground beef. And then I'm going to chop up an onion here. Now, usually in my recipes, I'm always adding a little bit of oil to my pan. And then I add my onion and saute that up and get it nice and softened. And then I add the ground beef and brown it up. And then I drain the grease out of that. But today we're doing it differently because I really don't want extra grease in here. So I'm going to cook up my ground beef and then add the onion to it. We are going to be adding some butter. So, you know, I don't want to have too much grease in the pan. Okay, now to cut your onion in a dice, just take your knife, lay your half of an onion upside down. You're going to bring your knife through in slices about three quarters of the way through. You're going to stand it on its end and then just drag your knife through. Now this is a small onion, so I'm just going to drag it through one time. If you have a large onion, you can go through twice, just three quarters of the way through so it all holds together. And then take your knife and then just drag it through. All right, let's go ahead now and start breaking up my ground beef. Once your meat is all broken up, you can go ahead and start adding your onion. Now this does take a few minutes to brown up, so I'm going to let you go for just that amount of time, bring you back when it's all nice and browned up, and then we're going to finish this gravy up. Okay, to go with our hamburger gravy and our homemade mashed potatoes, I'm also going to be cooking up some broccoli. Now the way we like broccoli, I use the frozen broccoli here, or you could even use the fresh broccoli florets. And then I just put them into a pan. Now I like to add some chicken broth, about, I'd say a quarter of a cup to half a cup. It depends on how much you have in there. I'm going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of some garlic. Whatever flavor you like. If you want more, if you don't want any, you don't have to put any in there. I'm going to season with some salt and some pepper. Okay, I'm going to put this on a medium-high heat. It depends on how fast you want to cook them and get them done. I'm going to do it on a medium-high heat because our gravy is going to come together pretty quickly. I'm going to put a lid on it and then let it do its thing. My ground beef is nice and brown now. What I'm doing is just pushing it off to the side because I want to drain some of that grease. We're going to add our own flavor to this, and I don't want it to be that right there. So I'm just going to lay in several paper towels and push it in. Then you just want to push it up against the meat to absorb any of that liquid you don't want. Now this will save you a few dishes. Or, you know, if you have your special way of draining the grease out, you can certainly do that also. All right, let me knock some of that off. We've got a bowl right here. We're going to lay it in. Okay, now to the empty spot right there, we're going to add butter. This is eight tablespoons or half a cup. So we're going to let that melt. You do want it all melted. Okay, I've got eight tablespoons of flour that I'm going to sprinkle over the butter and the meat. And what we're going to do is just stir this together, bring in the meat a little at a time, and then we're going to cook this down for about two minutes. This way, it works like this because it doesn't clump together. There we go. And now the two minutes is to cook the raw flavor out of your flour. 
Okay, let's go ahead and start seasoning. I've got some garlic powder here. We're going to put in about a teaspoon and a half. A quarter teaspoon of some black pepper. We've got some Worcestershire. We're going to put in about one teaspoon. We've got some Italian seasoning. We're going to put in about one teaspoon. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of some salt. Let's mix that all together. And while we're mixing this all together, we're going to add four cups of beef broth. And I'm going to add that in. Now, this is a doubled recipe, and there's a reason behind that. When I make hamburger gravy, there's somebody in this house that wants it for the next day for their lunch. So, there's leftovers. <laughs> now what you want to do at this stage is taste it with a spoon. Make sure it's flavored the way you want it. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring this to a boil. And once we get it to a boil, we're going to take it down to a medium to let it simmer until we get a nice thick gravy. Look who I found to do mashed potatoes. It's no hardship for him. He loves making homemade mashed potatoes. Oh, I rock at it. <laughs> so let's see and do a close-up and see exactly what he puts into his mashed potatoes. Okay, that's a secret. That's a secret that's fixing to be told. Every All the ingredients I use are to taste, so there's no particular measurement. So it is however much butter you want, to, if you want buttery potatoes or not. Lay in some salt, some pepper, and yes, I like pepper. So, it's going to be a little heavy-handed on the pepper. But you guys can put in whatever you want. Now, I like smooth potatoes. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of milk. And work that in. Now, another way I like mashed potatoes is when the peel is left on. But for this, I think the smooth, non-lumpy potatoes would be best. And now, for the best part of it, cheese. And it's just a mild cheddar. Because, you know, everything's better with cheese. And then, of course, must taste test. Oh, those are so good. Mm. And I'm going to say, these are ready. There you go. Okay, there's our gravy. Whose plate is this? Oh, that's going to be mine. You know that. <laughs> Again, empty hands. Empty hands. That's right. That's what you're stuck with. All right. I guess we know who's taste testing this one. Oh, <laughs> the shoe's on the other foot now. We all need plates. We're all waiting. You know, normally I'm behind the camera drooling and she's just taking her sweet old time. So guess what? Here's my spoon right here. <laughs> okay. I better hurry. <laughs> What do you think? That is good. Hamburger gravy over homemade mashed potatoes. We got some broccoli that we gave it some delicious flavors. And we have some Schubert rolls that we had put in the oven. 
Guys, they only cook for five minutes. I pulled them out of the freezer. Mm. How's the broccoli? The broccoli good. Good. Okay. Give us a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below what you think of my hamburger gravy. It is so easy. The ingredients straight out of your pantry. You just use some ground beef. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll know when all of my shows are posted. And believe me, I have over 500 out there. Go check them out. <laughs> okay, guys. We will see you on the next episode. Bye.